What I like about Chainsaw Man is that when it comes to dialogue, the characters just say what what needs to be said, and then in their um, with their body language, they'll just express their emotions in that moment, and then they move on to the next scene. So somebody dies, they're sad, a flashback, something, and then there's panels just showing how, like just showing their body language. And I feel like in those moments, other manga artists, they kind of say a lot more than needs to be said. So they'll go like, they'll, they'll be like all of this, like speech bubbles everywhere, saying everything. And something, like there's a character who's full of regret. They'll talk about all that stuff. But if the manga artist already showed like all those moments beforehand, if it showed the person having regret whenever they did certain stuff and all that, then that wouldn't be necessary in that scene because the reader is smart enough to to remember those scenes and to know that that person was a pretty crappy person. So in this moment, you know that they're feeling horrible. So just ha- so just creating panels to where their body language is saying that they're sad. So they're just sitting on the couch and they're just staring at a wall. Or let's say that they're staring at the TV and the TV showing something. And let's say they have a pet and the pet gets on the couch and the remote falls and it happens to click on the power button and the TV turns off. And then a panel goes to the books on the guy's face and he's still staring at the TV. Nothing, he hasn't moved at all. He hasn't flinched. That says a lot more about his, about his, uh, the way he feels than having this whole dialogue about being full of regret and all this and that. And that's just an amazing thing that Fujimoto has done with the characters to where he just lets them say what they normally would say. And of course, he he understands his characters. So in understanding his characters puts him in a situation to where all he has to do is drop them to where whatever's happening in the, in the story. And he just lets them be themselves. And once they say what needs to be said, and he does a good job at setting up that moment, he can just move on to, to the next part of the story. And that's just one thing that took a lot of practice for me to learn because I just feel like I was just going, it was like all scattered. I didn't have a good strategy on how to set things up. So that has helped me a lot big time. So I'm making a manga called Difference and it's pretty much about this uh, college junior named Sebastian. He's a little bit on the sad side and his life changes after going to a diner. So if you want to check it out, I'll put the description I'll put the link in the description. And right now I only have one chapter out. So if you're going to stick around and check out any of the videos I've done in the past. Or just check out any videos I make in the future. Then you can subscribe. And if you like the video, then it would be nice if you gave it a little like. Bye Felicia.